Greetings, everybody. Welcome to your video series on an introduction to sociology. The topic for this video is the feminist theory. Let's get started. As a reminder, there are four main sociological perspectives that have come out of the field of sociology. We started by discussing structural functionalism, then we moved into the conflict theory, symbolic interactionism, and we'll conclude this portion of our series with the feminist theory. The feminist theory really came out of the late 60s, 1970s. There are lots of theorists that helped to develop the feminist theory. Uh, you don't have to be a woman or a female to understand or appreciate the feminist theory and what feminist theorists have to tell us about our society and about human behavior. There are, of course, some well-known feminists that many of you have heard of uh, that went on tour this past summer. Madonna, at 65 years of age, went on a world record-breaking tour this past summer. Of course, Madonna began her career in the early 80s, confronting and looking at lots of taboos when it comes to sex and gender. She wasn't the only female on the road this past year. Beyonce took her record-breaking world tour out on the road as well. And of course, Taylor Swift is still out on the road and making millions and millions of dollars. She was recently minted uh, a, new, a member of the Billionaires Club due to her record sales and ticket sales. So what is the feminist theory? Feminists believe, see society as a separation of people according to our sex assignment and our gender identity. Feminists believe that this separation creates unequal opportunities and differing experiences for people based on their sex and gender identities. The questions we want to look at with this theory are how does sex affect social experiences? How does one's gender affect social experiences? How does sexual orientation affect our social experiences? And lastly, how do these identities intersect in, in ways that, again, allow us to have an increase in opportunities or a decrease in opportunities? We have been looking at the issue of family throughout these four perspectives. So let's apply our feminist theory lens to the idea of family. How would a feminist look at family compared to a structural functionalist who is, look, who is trying to identify functions and purposes to family? How does the feminist see family different from a conflict theorist who is looking at the potential for conflicts within family and at the macro level over the idea and definition of family itself? And then lastly, how did the feminist differ from our symbolic interactionist friends who are looking at the symbols that are associated with families, how we learn the meaning of these symbols and what kinds of labels we might apply. So a feminist theorist is going to look at the role of sex in a family, not the act of sex, but the identity of sex. And they're going to be interested in trying to understand how females in a family experience society and their lives. How do males experience family that might be different from their female counterparts? If there are trans people in the family, how are their experiences similar or different from their female and male counterparts? Similarly, similarly <laughs> that's a mouthful. We're also looking at the role of gender and we're trying to understand how people who identify as feminine in the family experience society versus people who might identify as masculine in that family. Or again, if there are trans members in the family, how do these experiences differ based on a person's gender identity? And then lastly, the feminists are looking at the role of sexual orientation. And again, trying to understand how straight people within a family experience society differently or similarly than their gay counterparts? Um, how do people who identify as bi or pan or queer in a family, what are those experiences like? So from a feminist perspective, we're just looking at 
the, the identities that are associated with sex, gender, and sexual orientation, and trying to better understand what the experiences of people in a family are like based on their sex identity, their gender identity, and their sexual orientation identity. We know through a macro analysis of our society that men and women do experience life differently. Males and females experience life differently. Trans people experience life differently. People who identify as feminine or masculine identify, uh, experience society differently. Um, straight people and gay people have different experiences. Um, bi, pan, queer people all have unique experiences in our society. And the feminist lens is just trying to better understand what those experiences are like in terms of a person's opportunities, um, perhaps their chances for success, uh, how they may discri be discriminated against, if at all. And that's the feminist uh, perspective when it comes to looking at the issue of family. So again, as a review, uh, feminists believe that society or see society as a separation of people according to their sex and gender identities, as well as their sexual orientation. Uh, they argue that this separation creates unequal opportunities and differing experiences for people based on whether they identify as male, female, feminine, masculine, trans, etc. And the questions we want to look at when we're using this theory how does a person's sex affect their social experiences? How does a person's gender affect their social experiences? How does a person's sexual orientation affect those social experiences? And lastly, how do our identities intersect? intersect? For example, how does a feminine female experience society versus, say, a masculine female? Or how does a gay masculine male experience society versus a feminine gay male. Those are the kinds of issues and questions that the feminists under the feminist theory are trying to understand and explain. That's going to do it for now. Thanks for checking in. Never stop learning. And remember, sociology is everywhere.